Muhammad in Wali Muhammad Wajil. This ayat clearly explains how the universe is still expanding when the Quran says we continue to expand it. The Quran was written 1400 years ago, yet scientists are only able to discover this now. However, Prophet Muhammad was not taught how to read. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Ya Ali. Ya Ali. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad was not taught how to read or how to write. So how did he know? This shows that this message is from Allah and that he is the all-knowing and that Islam is the true religion. Number three, number three, extraterrestrial life. On April 16, 2020, NASA discovered a planet that is extremely similar to Earth. NASA calls it Kelper 452b. This planet looks extremely similar to Earth and most likely has water. NASA predicts that there are early aliens or other human-like creatures on this planet as it has water and looks extremely similar to Earth. This planet also revolves around a sun-like star and also has similar temperatures to Earth. It most likely carries extraterrestrial life, meaning aliens or other human-like creatures. The Quran explains how there are other human beings and living beings among us in this ayah. And among his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth, and of whatever living creatures. He has spread forth in his bow, and he has the power to gather them together when he pleases. Surah 42, Ayah 30. Number four, the process of how people were created. When x-rays and scans were created, we got a deeper look into how eggs developed in the womb and the process. However, in Surah 23, Ayah 13 to 15, Allah describes the process explicitly, how man was created from clay and how it forms into a human. Every step is explained and only recently have they found this information. This information would be impossible to find in Prophet Muhammad's time. A French doctor named Maurice Bouhail studied the Quranic verse. He said, more than a thousand years before our time, men had the Quran. This statement it contains expresses in simple terms truths of extreme importance which man has taken centuries to discover. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad wa jil faraja. Ya Ali. Ya Ali. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. This shows that a doctor who is not Muslim recognizes and confirms that these procedures are true and that the Quran was right and described the procedure years before scientists could. Number five, five, tectonic plates. Only recently, scientists have discovered that the Earth's continents are not on one piece of land. There are big plates underneath us which are called tectonic plates. Allah explains this in Surah 50, Ayah 8. And the earth we have spread it out and placed therein firm mountains and we have made to grow therein every kind of beautiful species. So uh, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad wa jil. In verses such as this one, the Holy Quran tells us that the earth has been spread out. It also explains how there are spread out pieces of mountains meaning that there is more than one piece of land under the earth. It is extraordinary that so many of these remarkable scientific discoveries of the last 100 years, from discovering the biological processes in human development to unraveling the Big Bang Theory and the expansion of the universe, 
We were told these facts 1400 years ago in the Holy Quran. However, we need to realize that for all of these resources and the Quran and Hadith to come to us, there were big sacrifices being made. These sacrifices include Imam Hussein Bail in Karbala and sacrificing his whole family for us. One of the biggest sacrifices include the sacrifice of Bibi Sakina. After the Battle of Karbala, people would slap Bibi Sakina and hurt her. They would snatch her earrings and rip her ears. Imagine a four-year-old girl, her ears bleeding, her clothes on fire, and her father being killed. These oppressors did not take any pity on her. And after the battle, and after the battle of Karbala, Shimmer came up to Bibi Sakina. She got scared and said, "Please don't hurt me. My dad is Imam Hussein." Ask for anything and I will give it to you. Shimmer told her that he wanted her gold earrings. Bibi Sakina brought her hands to her ears and put them down again. Then again she brought her hands to her ears and put them down again. Shimmer got impatient and asked why she was taking so long. Bibi Sakina said, Shimmer, I don't know how to take off my earrings. Then Shimmer snatched her earrings and ripped her ears. But that wasn't all of the sacrifices that this four-year-old girl went through. When they were boarding all of the women onto the camels, Shimmer came and said to put Bibi Sakina on a camel at the back alone. After traveling for hours, the head of Imam Hussein would not move. Shimmer told Imam Sajjad to make the head move or else he would whip him. Imam Sajjad asked what was wrong, and Imam Hussein's head replied, Oh Sajjad, how can I move? My Sakina has fallen down. Imam Sajjad and Bibi Zainab went to find her, but Shimmer got impatient and he got mad and went to find her first with his whip.